Hey everybody. It is Sunday, actually afternoon. I'm drinking coffee, but oh well, I slept in today. Um, kind of. I mean, I got up, I did my paper route, and then slept in. So, <laughs> yes, that is what I did. I slept in for me really late. I can hear the kids pooping <laughs> upstairs in their room playing. Um, I slept until like 10.30, so I got home from my paper at about 6. Yeah, so Sunday's really the only day that I can do that. Right now I'm recording on my laptop, so I've never done that before. We'll see how this goes. If it Once I post the video, if it doesn't look that great, then you know, we won't do it again, but let me give it a shot. Looking out the window right now, it's snowing. We are supposed to get about eight inches of snow today. We will see. Fortunately, I don't have to do my paper out in the morning. So, good. I only do the route five days a week. <laughs> I don't know where all this is about. So, um, yeah. So what are we going to talk about today? I'm just sitting here randomly doing whatever. Um, let's talk about the weirdest week I've ever had. Let's do that. So you guys know, or if you don't, I'll, I'll link the video that I got that super random gift. It was awesome. So happy to get it. I'm like, trying to figure out where to look. I'm just up. So here we go. <laughs> I know the camera is right there, but I'm used to looking like It was super amazing. And I think in the video, I didn't even tell you guys how much debt I was able to pay off with it. I paid off over $500. So, I mean, it was a, plus all those diapers. Yeah, it was a significant gift. Especially for you know, being something so random. Um, so there was that. <laughs> and uh, in the, the video, I briefly told you all about um, my decision to say yes. You know, and for years I love the movie Yes Man. <laughs> and so anytime I feel kind of down and depressed, which has been a lot over the last, you know, I guess almost a couple years now, I've watched that movie. <laughs> and I always thought, oh, I just want to do that. I just want to say yes to everything. Because, you know, who knows, you know, where it's going to go. And so I decided, well, I'm just going to do that. Um, assuming there's not something you know, super irresponsible. Obviously the movie is a little outrageous, but you know, something realistic. Let's just say yes and see what opportunities come my way. And uh, that gift arrived. And um, like I said, you know, I've been watching a lot of like coffee page and I've been doing a lot of, um, trying to do a lot of like positive thinking, kind of mind work, you know, to kind of help you know, since I'm just struggling so much with, um, we may get invaded very soon. I hear them out there. Um, but I have been, you know, struggling so much with just kind of, um, getting back to me. And, um, but I started doing a lot of, um, meditation and just some different things that my doctor had recommended I do a long time ago, but, um, you know, just bad about taking care of myself, realistically, is what it comes down to. Um, but, you know, my doctor told me a long time ago, like, meditate, do yoga, make sure you're getting enough exercise, and on and on and on. Um, I didn't really do that because, you know, I have four other little people to take care of. I have a spouse. And, you know, you just start putting yourself at the end of line and all those things. Anyhow. So I started doing some of those things. I started, um, you know, meditation and things were the easiest ones to start with. So I've been doing that and that has really helped. And some of what I do, um, I don't know if you'd call it meditation, really. <laughs> I 
It's okay. I had to pause the video for a second to kind of get rid of those crazy people or like just right outside the door. So this room connects to the living room. So mm -hmm, it can get kind of nutso <laughs> with all those people. Anyway, so where was I? Oh, I've been meditating a lot on my, on my paper route. So it's not like sitting and, you know, um, though I have done that. <laughs> Most of the time I'm on my paper route. So I just spend a lot of time, you know, doing like deep breathing exercises and um, you know, you do all the, the positive thinking and positive affirmations and you know, different things like that. I've been doing that for, um, a few weeks now. And then, boop, there came that, um, that unexpected gift. So I got that. And then I could do not, like two, maybe three days later, my husband this phone call from my mother-in-law and she says, Hey, I want to give, she has, you know, four kids and she decided she's going to give them all some money for Christmas. You know, we borrowed money from her to moved up here. Um, but she's wanting to, to give them all some money because she, her house came into a, a large chunk of money, you know, for, for her, a large chunk, chunk of money. So this week, then this week we should be getting, I think it's like fifteen hundred dollars. That she's just, hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then, okay, so this one might be the strangest happening of them all. <laughs> but um, some time ago, I applied to the um, the state psychiatric hospital, <laughs> and um, you know, I was thinking, well, if they ever contact me, it's going to be a long, arduous process, you know, working for the government, it's going to be like interview after interview, this and that. Um, on Friday, <laughs> Friday, this Friday, past Friday, yeah, a couple days ago, uh, maybe it was Thursday, I don't know, it was one of those days, um, I got a phone call from them and I thought, you guys know that I made the decision to stay home and work or and not work outside the home for a period of time and really feel like you know, getting better. But I couldn't help myself. I called him back. And, you know, just to kind of see, like, what's going on here. Um, I'm on the phone with this lady, and by the end of the phone call, I'm transferred to Human Resources because they offered me a job. Not even an interview, people. Not even an interview. The state called me and said, hey, you want to work here? So I was like, what is happening? Um, I'm still feeling really torn about that because the benefits are amazing. Um, the pay is not amazing, you know, which is fine. Um, but if I take it, I don't know that I will, you know, spend the time that I need to spend to um, I don't know, move forward in a more stable way. And I'm just kind of afraid um, if I actually take the job that I may what are we doing out there? <laughs> Um, I may kind of ruin, you know, a future opportunity if I take it right now. So I might have to break my yes cycle, which is kind of like, oh no, I'm going to stop the flow. <laughs> but um, super weird stuff, super weird stuff. Um, other little things that kind of happened. Um, I made a sale on Poshmark. I have, a, I have, you know, some items up on Poshmark. I haven't sold anything on there since... I don't know, the summer, and then just randomly sold an item. And then my sister, the day that I had that strange conversation with the state psychiatric hospital, my sister called me and says, hey, I ordered all these different face products, and then my order got all screwed up, and I ended up with two, two boxes of these things. Do you want them? And they're like, nice, good, you know oil natural kind of products and I was like if you don't want to keep it sure send it my way <laughs> but yeah just a ton of different <sighs> weird things just been a super 
super weird week. And uh, not that it's bad, it's not, it's just weird. Um, one of the things I will say, um, after the first gift, we'll say, um, I just got such a lift from that, you know, and I, I said so in the video, but it's, it's true. It's still happening. I, prior to that, we weren't doing like the little snowflake payments that we started doing back in, what was it? 2017. <laughs> Our first snowflake payment I ever made is in 2017. And we really just kind of stopped everything. And I'm kind of the, the, the financial person in the house. So if I, if I stopped, then we stopped. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But we just restarted trying to get everything financially back in order. And it still felt like, oh, just this heavy, heavy weight. Um, and then that gift kind of came along and it just really, like, Oh, perked me up. <laughs> and so, um, I don't know. Now I just have the ability to look at things the way I was looking at them before, really. And, um, you know, just see opportunity instead of obstacle. So that is a nice shift. Um, I'll show you guys one thing really quick. Hmm. Made this last night, yesterday. Okay. Put together a financial binder, and I'm gonna go through this. I think on in a video, or like the whole thing in a video this week. Um, but I did that yesterday, and like my little printer was just it was just whirring forever. <laughs> but um, it was really fun. Two of my little girls are really into planners and notebooks and whatever, so they were pretty excited to um, help me with that. But I found some really fun, like, debt payoff tracker charts and all sorts of fun stuff that I put in here. So when I put that video up, I'll link to all the different um, tracker things I found. And, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm just, I feel so optimistic right now. I really, really do. And um, I still feel torn about this whole you know, job at the psychiatric hospital thing, but if I say no, it'll still be there. It'll still be there. And if it does not take me a full year to um, progress, mentally, emotionally, you know, to the place I want to be, to the place where I feel um, a lot more stable. If it doesn't take me a whole year, then maybe I will, you know, go out and go ahead and um, pursue employment, obviously, with a place that takes, um, or that's a qualifying employer with, um, as far as public service loan forgiveness is concerned. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to 2020. <laughs> I am, and oh, I was really looking forward to the year 2017. I like numbers. <laughs> I was really looking forward to the year 2017. The 17 is my favorite number, and all this stuff. And I haven't been looking for 2018, not so much. 2019, not so much. This year, I am super excited because I feel like we're in a decent place right now. Um, even though there's kind of a wop wop coming potentially. So the job that my husband took, we don't really know, um, what's going to end up happening, happening with it. Um, because, and this isn't anything concrete. It's just kind of here today, you know, around the workplace, but, um, it sounds as if the people that were hired on the, during the same time that he was hired on um, 
a not be like kept around i guess when they get up close to their um 90 day mark you know when they would qualify for insurance and all those things um because i guess it's a fairly normal thing for this company to uh like you know hire some people during the holidays and then like they don't really need you now so the holidays are over so um <coughs> we will see you know what happens there so like i said eh, kind of a walk walk potentially but we don't know so i'm not going to focus on that um we are just going to keep on moving forward and if he has to run a different job he has to run a different job it is. so but I'm not overly concerned. Uh, yeah, anyway, 2020. I'm really excited. For one, I like, you know, like a lot of people, I really like repeating numbers. So 2020, ugh, such an amazing kind of launching place, you know. So it's like the start of a fresh decade, you know, like all this stuff. And every year I feel this way, like, ugh. Like getting that brand new notebook and opening it up, and that brand new journal, like it's life. There's endless possibility. And the beginning of every year is that way. But the beginning of a new decade. So it's like especially like that. So like everything that not only happened this last year, but everything that just happened in the last big chunk of time can just go away. We're starting over. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um Though I'm not just waiting for January 1st, you know, to start making things happen, but looking forward to it. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now and, um, I don't know. Did you guys have anything amazing happen to you for this last week? Is there something you're really looking forward to for the next year? Are you dreading the next year for some reason? I don't know. Let me know. We can all talk about it down in the comments. Have a good week. Bye.